Welcome. Vak purvatha vaganantaram. Word before, word without pause. In this Sanskrit lesson today, we will explore the sound of vowels and the placement of the sound in the mouth. Begin with the student teacher chant. Please join me. Om Sahana Vavatu Sahana Bhunaktu Sahaviryam Karavavahai Tejasvinavadhitamastuma Vidvishavahai Om Shanti 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 Welcome. Sound is in the mouth. This is the roof of the mouth. You can actually see the nose, the lips, the teeth. And here is the contour of the roof of the mouth. Sound is formed by a relationship to the space of the mouth, the tongue, the teeth, the shape of space, and the movement of air or breath, the strength of it. Mm, we actually can dive into looking at all of the elements that come together to make each individual sound. But it begins here. You could think of this as the earth element, the solid part of the mouth. Here we have the guttural part of the mouth. It's the soft palate. You can feel, even if you take your tongue back to the back of the mouth, you'll feel as it moves from the palatal portion or the palate uh, of the mouth. It goes from the hard palate to the soft palate. Now when we make guttural sounds, the sound can be felt in the back of the throat. As well, when we engage the tongue, it's the back of the tongue. So the mouth can be quite open and those are the sounds that we can make located in that part of the mouth. Um, the palate, I like to think of as the top of the dome of the church, the cathedral of the mouth. Uh, the center of the hard palate, the roof of the mouth, is typically um, the sound is made by an engagement with the center of the tongue, the middle of the tongue, and the roof of the mouth. And again, this is something you can kind of play around with. <laughs> play with what happens with the middle of the tongue when it comes into the playground of the palate of the mouth. The labial part of the mouth, of course, is the lips. Typically, the only time that the mouth closes is when we're making sounds in this part of the mouth, the labial part of the mouth. Tongue really need not be involved. Now, retroflex. If you take your tongue to the bottom of your teeth and slide it back and then go along the contour of the mouth, you'll feel this ridge between the teeth and the dome of the palate. This is the area for the retroflex sounds. The tip of the tongue curls back, like this. <laughs> um, the shape of the tongue is like a bowl, like this. Retroflex is um, like a bowl. The shape of the tongue is like a bowl for the palatal sounds. The tongue is typically shaped like an umbrella. Last but not least, we have the dental part of the mouth. This is where the tongue actually touches the teeth. So we've learned some vowel sounds already. Um, we can talk a little bit more about how they exist and live in the mouth. First, of course, we have the guttural sounds, and this is our uh, ah. And the best way to access this, I like to think of uh as the caveman sound. If you completely relax the whole apparatus of the mouth and the tongue and just the whole body, and you just let the vocal cords lightly touch as the breath passes, 
uh, uh, uh. This is the sound of the short uh. This is short uh, uh. And then, almost as if you're stunned at the sound that you've created, think of the caveman first making the sound. What happens is he opens his mouth, or she opens his, her mouth wide in surprise. So, uh, uh, ah, 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 is the long sound. So, uh, ah, 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 all located back here. And the palate, if we widen the teeth into a smile, and we again, Feel a slight vibration between the middle of the tongue and the dome of the mouth. E, 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 e. Can <laughs> have fun with this. Feel the vibrations there. Labial, like a kiss. Let the sound come to the front of the mouth. Ooh, 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 ooh. And then for the retroflex. We have the tip of the tongue curling back. R, 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 R. Some books say to not roll the R, but um, I find that when the body is relaxed and we're moving through the sounds, there will be a little flutter of the tongue. So, uh, ah, e, e, u, u, r, r. The palatal diphthongs. Diphthongs is a combination of sounds. There's you can actually feel an accompanying movement in the mouth. So the palatal diphthongs here, we are moving towards the palate. The first one is we take a short A ah plus E and we get the sound A, A. It's kind of a quasi diphthong because you can make this sound without feeling a lot of the movement between the short A uh and the E. A, but you can definitely start to resonate that whole palate of the mouth um, and feel it move up through the channels of the head. A, long ah plus e gives us I, I, and here you really feel the grand sweep of sound from the guttural part of the mouth where the ah shifts into the I. E sound at the palate. So we have A, I. The labial diphthongs, similarly, they move from the guttural, a, uh, a, uh, towards the front of the mouth, combining with oo uh, and oo. Uh. Um, oh, I need to correct this. This actually should be a short a. Uh. A, uh, a, uh, oo uh, together make o. Oh. And if you just hang out on the o, oh, you'll feel the play between the back and the front of the, the mouth. Again, it's kind of a sort of a short change diphthong. The next one, however, is full Nelly. You can feel the sound move all the way from the back of the throat to the lips. Ow, ow, ow. And here we've run through the entire range of possible sound in the mouth. We have two more um, mm, sounds. These are um, connected with the letters Visarga and Anusvara. The Visarga is denoted by this H with a dot under it. Anusvara you'll see with the M has a dot either on top or the bottom. It depends on um, which font. So sometimes you might see that dot here underneath. Um, so these are always these always follow a vowel. Uh, many words end in the visarga or the anusvara after being declined or conjugated. So we'll see these both with the substantives, the, the nouns, the adjectives, and the verbs. Visarga is um, an unvoiced breathing, which often occurs instead of the r or the s. And we'll see this again when we look at the verb charts. You might um, have learned the verb chart previously for the present tense with the um, s, the s in it. But in practical realm, you'll use the visarga. In the modern language, it may sound like the little, an echo of a vowel before it. So if we have the 
ah followed by visarga it sounds like uh huh uh huh this sounds like ihi ihi uh huh uh huh um you will also hear it ah uh, ih uh you hear the breath um, as well, many, many samdhi changes um, occur with the visarga, depending on the words, the word that follows it. And then we have the anusvara. This affects the sound of, well, in two ways. The last portion of the vowel just before it becomes more nasal. So we were talking about the vowel A that's located in the palate, if it's followed by the m, you'll hear, you'll push into that nasal sound a little bit, aim, like this. Also, the anusvara changes its sound to the nasal corresponding to the sound following it. Again, these rules we will spend a lot of time with in the future. Here's an example. Samkhya is actually pronounced sankhya because we want to take the anusvara to the nasal corresponding with ka and again more on the letters later here's a a survey of all the vowels with the visarga and the anusvara so we have aha um aha um ihi im Ihi, im. Uhu, um. Uhu, um. Ehi, aim. Aihi, aim. You hear the nasal. Aim. Oho, om. Auhu, aum. So this would be a good place to pause the video and practice these sounds for yourself. I would just run through them quickly. I'll go through them one more time. You can make the sounds with me. Aha, uh -huh, um, aha, um, ihi, im, ihi, im, uhu, um, uhu, um, ehe, aim. I he I'm oh ho om ow ho ow. Thank you so much for joining me. We'll take the closing chant. Om Sarvesham Svastir Bhavatu Sarvesham Shantir Bhavatu Sarvesham Purnam Bhavatu Sarvesham Mangalam Bhavatu Om Shanti 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 Thank you for joining me for the word before, the word without pause. Vakpurvata Vaganantaram.